Breaking news is Kathy Griffin is getting wrecked right now for targeting Britney Spears. Now, in the past, she's targeted Johnny Depp as well. And as this trends, this is what people are bringing up. With Griffin going out of her way to cancel people, getting backlash with that and saying, Oh no, people are actually erasing me. Oh, I'm the victim in this situation. Now, you and I, we're going to listen to what she had to say about Britney Spears and Johnny Depp while backing people like A.H. and Andy Depp. You know, people the world over know about. And isn't it interesting that she said she backed Britney Spears back in 2021 when that was the way to go? Only now, yeah, to show her true colors. Crazy times, huh? Crazy times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So imagine complaining about being erased while going out and trying to cancel and target people. That's Kathy Griffith. She'd done it to Britney Spears, Johnny Depp. She's done it in politics and more with this newest round with video coming at us from at Britney Charts. Notice what they post right here. Exploitation. Kathy Griffin mocks Britney Spears' freedom. Sometimes a person can be too free. And I don't trust the husband. I'll tell you right now. I don't trust that husband because he was around when the conservatorship was happening. So he's like he didn't pass the smell test with me. So you notice right there, it sounds like it's going to be pro-Britney Spears at first. There are people in the audience that are actually backing that too. You know, they're saying, yeah, you know, we don't believe that either. Listen to the butt coming with this. But all I'm going to say is sometimes a person can be too free. Can you imagine mocking someone, by the way, that has been through all of the stuff that we know Britney Spears has been through? And this, this is in front of a live audience. I mean, you can hear everybody listen to their reaction to this. A little too free. That's all I'm saying. A little too free. And should wash your hair. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, so you're going to mock, hey, she, she's a little too free there. Oh, and by the way, hey, why don't you take a bath? Now, she's gone mask off with Johnny Depp as well, targeting him after everyone heard exactly what he had to say, saying, hey, you know, I've been through terrible things. Listen to what she says here. I mean, this truly shows you who exactly she is, whether, again, it's Britney Spears, Johnny Depp, or anyone that she decides should come in the crosshair. If you don't stands, as the kids call them, the stands, and these Johnny Depp stands that are talking about this trial, and yet they refuse to show a picture of what he looks like now, which is a big orange fat bloated booze bag. He looks like Donald Trump with a ponytail. So you notice right there, I mean, her go-to is always politics. It's always making fun of people, whether you need to wash your hair or whether, hey, you're a big, flat, bloated booze bag. I mean, you see exactly who she is. Continuing. Um, and so they keep they keep sticking up for him and being like, Amber is taking down Johnny. He's so gorgeous and dreamy. I'm like, OK, he talks like Kanye when Kanye had his jaw wired. He has a fake accent yes. like when Madonna turned British. So, you know, who is well, getting you know, here? And he's a Kentucky boy. So every time yeah. I hear that from him, I go, he didn't learn to speak like that in Kentucky. <laughs> he learned that's it from a, his idol, Keith Richards. And yeah, it's an affectation. <laughs> totally. And, but how could people not see through such an obvious affectation? And just the whole thing of how he had like his digital warriors outside. It's This is a middle-aged man. This is pathetic. Now, she doesn't stop there either. And what's fascinating about this take is it's not only mask off with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard because they're friends and more, but she talks about the reason I believe her is, well, women as a lifelong feminist. And it's fascinating considering, well, you see what she says about people like Britney Spears. Listen to this part here. And again, remember what just came up. The Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial is over with and and Johnny Depp uh, won 15 versus 2 million by Amber. And I was wondering what you thought of it. Well, um, I am friends with Amber Heard. I completely believe her. I I don't even know what the question is. It's actually really disturbing to me as a, a woman and a lifelong feminist. Also, just so you know, I mean, 
there's stories have been going around Hollywood about him being an abuser since Kate Moss is the first time I heard about it. And then right. Winona Ryder when they were dating and he had the Winona forever. And then she had her tattoo. I think it was changed to El Diablo over wow. his name, which is not a good sign. But I no. will say, of course, I cannot speak for these women. But I have to tell you, I wonder if they just changed their tune because nobody wants to get Amber herded. And I say that I am a verb myself. I know that when it comes to, you know, um, political discourse, nobody wants to get Kathy Griffin, as I was <laughs> very famously canceled and blacklisted <laughs> and all that stuff. But um, I've been yeah. Brian caromed once or twice in a White House briefing room. I, I feel you. Oh, I thought they were going to physically chuck you out a couple of times. <laughs> they, they tried, yeah. Especially Sarah, Sarah Huckabee. I thought she's, you know, she's a sturdy gal. She could probably take you, Brian. No offense. <laughs> hey, I was a middle linebacker. I think I could hang. but uh, yeah. Like she wasn't? <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> hey, um, now. <laughs> hey, now. So anyway, yes, I am taking what is a controversial take for the social media bloodbath that has been this trial. But no, it's very clear to me. It's, you know... Uh, you know, defamation is something I, I know a little bit about. And, um, you know, I, I think it's it's been interesting to watch it go down in a way that um, has been illuminating. But I think it's definitely going to set women back. I don't know that it's going to kill Me Too. You know, some of these right. Me Too women, I know a lot of these Me Too women, and they're very, you know, they're, they're very, um, I think if nothing else, it's difficult, but they're grateful to finally talk about their story. And so, uh, you know, I just think Depp is gross. I now, you notice in that interview right there that she brought up, hey, you know, I've been Kathy Griffith before, you know, talking about cancellation. This is something that she whines about quite a bit. In fact, I mean, there are plenty of headlines. This was a headline here saying she says, oh, she was erased. She wasn't canceled, you know, because of the things that she did in politics. She's gone to this again and again. What's fascinating to me is as she trends with this stuff, how do you think she's going to try to come across with it? Do you think she's going to take the blame? Do you think she's going to apologize and say, hey, I've been taken out of context? Or do you think that she's going to go in and yet again blame something on someone like, say, Elon Musk? I mean, she's gone after that guy before trying to cancel him. Do you think she's going to turn on Britney Spears or Britney Spears supporters? Are they going to be in line? Like I said, this is somebody that says, I support women while again mocking women mocking women that support people. I mean, that is her calling card, and she has done it again and again and again. But anyway, I wanted to show you this because she is getting wrecked online right now. Let me know what you think about this, though. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough, too. Thank you sincerely. Want to help out the channel? Links are in the description of the video. Check those out. Share this everywhere. And thank you.